of appearing before the two justices. Um, in this matter, I confirm my appearance on behalf of the applicant, Matari Apashamanyisa. My lord and my lady, the applicant in this matter, she seeks to be admitted as, an, as a legal practitioner and to be enrolled as an advocate. Before I delve into the relief that is sought by, by the applicant, uh, my lord and my lady, I, I have perused the papers and one thing that I spotted out it was uh, it was the, the area in which she indicated that she's residing at in her founding of Dhabi, that she's re residing at Nelspreet, then there was a comma at Khaute, Nelspreet Khaute. Then another area that I saw, it was the exact dates in which she served her practical vocational training. Then the third one, it was concerning uh, the dates in which her mentors Abid David was commissioned. So I've advised her to correct statement, the supplementary Abid David together with the confirmatory habitat we prepared and were sent to today and we beg leave uh, for the late fighting of these habitats just to remain the same. Confirm. 
can just confirm with that. Because if it, the requirement is yes. not done, you do not need to the application yes. because they are not both my system or yes. one. Uh, let me just confirm with my, if I, I may be permitted to stand the matter down, just to confirm that aspect on the right now and my day. This is fine, then we today and um, I'm not looking forward to the trip if I'm being honest with you guys like I really I'm genuinely not looking forward to the trip like I don't like traveling long distance you know unless it's like some sort of a road trip or something but it's not so I'm leaving so I don't want to I don't want to cook or anything let me fix this I don't want to cook or anything, so I bought. I wanted breakfast, like a full breakfast. I don't want to just the packet. I wanted a full breakfast. Unfortunately, my butter melted. I'm so sad because I really like butter. What? It legit melted. I was craving like breakfast, but I don't want to because I already washed the pots and dishes and all of that. So I was just like, hey, you know what? Thing is, will I finish the school? I was like, I, you know what? Let me just order something online. OMP. Because I was thinking of actually going to OMP, but I'm, I have to carry hair products with me. And I'm not going to be able like to carry all that luggage. I know myself. And go to OMP and then get sleepy there at OMP as well. Oh God, where my eggs going to sit? One thing about me, guys, I love eggs. Hey? Eggs are like the heel I will die on. So I got scrambled eggs from my room. I'm not gonna finish this food. I know myself. I'm one of those people that can with their eyes. I'll order something, then I won't finish it. So this is how it looks. So this is how it looks. It's a 
It's a cheese. It's a farmhouse breakfast. Hey, Hi. it's a farmhouse breakfast with like okay, it's really a lot of this thing. So I'm going home. I'm really happy. I'm excited to just you know be stepping into a new chapter in my life as boys. You know one thing about me. I'm always working towards making progress. So yeah. It's been real, it's been nice. Mm. The last couple of months have been tough financially. Yeah, color. There's a lot going on, you know. Everything is so expensive, and I'm still trying to recover from all the money that I spent last year when I was doing my my privilege. Well, it was last year and this year because I finished. Bro, this bread is so hard. Yeah. So all the money that I spent when I was doing my village, I'm trying to recover. You know, but slowly but surely we're getting the businesses also. Bro, now I look like I can't eat with a fork and knife because this bread is so difficult. But yeah, I guess. We're stepping into a new chapter, and time will tell. The only thing I haven't done now is packed. I'm so terrible when it comes to packing. So, I'm gonna pack. And then from there, I'm gonna Uber myself and we'll do it by him. I'm gonna my bus and I'm out. So the bus leaves at one. I know it's, I know it's like half past nine. So I've got like two hours to just relax. Actually, to pack. And then after that, prepare to go. Yeah, so I'm going to now spread. Do you know what it tastes like? It came out from the wall of life springs of life like it tastes like jesus himself bottled it for me you know what i mean it tastes really good this bread this toast man it's great i don't know like what's happening with it but it's so hard to cut through it and like i'm using a i'm using a pattern knife so so after i finish eating when i start getting ready fuck when i start getting ready to go home So guys i bought myself this um neck massager pillow type of thing and like yo because i have like really severe pa back pain so it's electric it's electric i've got severe back pains and neck pains like i can't sleep well at night you know so i bought one for my mom and i bought one for myself as well and it has a this kind of a plug so you obviously need to use a twin plug to pl plug it I'm actually gonna do a quick massage now before I go home with this active arnica oil. Um, don't mind the way this looks, this thing is so old, like, it's so old. I, my mom bought me a lot of massage oils when I broke my leg. So I've got like, so many of them. So I'm gonna apply this on the back of my neck, especially first, cause I haven't had time to like make an appointment to go see a chiropractor. And I also haven't like discovered whether chiropractors use medical aid or not, because if they do, then that'd be great. So they've got these little, you see, they've got these little um, thingies that massage you. And they, I'll show you guys how it works now. Cause you are uh, like my 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 neck and my back are killing me. Like I get so stress or being, but yo, it's too much. So yeah, let me let me let me get started. It's like it kind of hurts, <laughs> but like it, it's so therapeutic. It feels good. Ugh. Oh, yes, definitely they're by my neck. Yo, 
because the neck pains are killing me like on a daily oh that feels so good it's like a deep tissue massage it's like painful but it's good Oof. oh this feels kind of nice <laughs> it hurts though no lie because my muscles are obviously tight oh damn Mm, yo. Jesus, it's kind of painful, <laughs> but it's so nice. Ooh. Oh, so it stops and then it like changes the direction. Guys, it's really nice. Especially on the really tough parts of my... chance you guys must prove you must choose professions that are good for your mental health ah there's no way guys every day every day it's a struggle hey i'm tired hi going to went back to cages of Good morning. It is a beautiful Friday. I am going to court today and I will try and vlog this day. I am just very nervous and I hope that everything goes well. This is a very big and important day in my life. This is a milestone in my life and I'm very anxious, especially about vlogging it because. This vlog started in September already and things didn't go according to plan and quotes at the time. But I try again today and hope that this time everything will be successful. And God has gone before us and he's paved the way and I trust in him. If not so <laughs> emphasis on if. Um solo. This is um solo. <laughs> <laughs> that no, I'm starting to think we're in the wrong court, eh? Yeah. So where's everybody else? What the hell is that? Nang <laughs> umsolo, umsolo o Dr. Manisa, represented by her daughter. What crime did you commit, ma'am? What is your crime? 
my mother is guilty of giving birth to I will English it in. I am not my lord, my lord is sitting there. My mom is guilty of giving birth to a fabulous daughter like myself. Now she needs to pay for her crimes. She needs to be charged with the crime. You cannot give birth to somebody that looks like this, who's intelligent. The whole package, it's not legal. A crime and will. Okay, but jokes aside. According to the best of my knowledge and ability, and further that I will be faithful to the Republic of South Africa, I will uphold and protect the constitution of the human rights of transgenders, and I will administer justice to all persons without fear, favor, or prejudice, in accordance with the constitution and the law. See, mother and daughter. <laughs> Hi guys. Welcome to my channel. I'm so happy. I'm finally vlogging and I'm vlogging good news today for the first time. I'm so happy guys. The order was granted. I'm officially I'm officially an advocate of the High Court of South Africa. I gave my oath. And I was Blessed. I was given a great speech by the Honorable Justices Relisa and AJ Kumete. Um, it was amazing. I'm so glad that this journey has finally begun on a new chapter now. Like the old chapter is closed. And I'm just looking forward to all the great things to come. And the money, of course. I'm gonna take a nap um, oh I'm tired I don't think there's anybody more tired than I am in this lifetime because I woke up at 5 and I slept around 3 because I couldn't sleep last night I had so much anxiety especially because the first time um, my application was moved there were some glitches and things didn't go according to plan and I was so demoralized and so depressed especially because I went ahead of everything and i planned my whole party i made my whole outfits for the party and everything and things just went sideways and i was so demoralized 
and obviously now i'm going to proceed with the party plans but that's not even the biggest part the biggest part is that i've actually dedicated so much of my life to this very moment and it's finally happened and it was just like yo i was so nervous i was shaking you know but i was so happy at the same time i thought i was going to cry but i didn't cry like i <laughs> i stopped feeling you know like i stopped feeling it was crazy it was a crazy experience and i am so overwhelmed with emotions i am so grateful for all the beautiful messages and the congratulations that you guys are all sending and i'm just really glad that god continues to be kind to me to be gracious to me and he continues to show up for me in all aspects i spent the last 7 years of my life dedicating them to this very moment you know from 4 years of school to 3 years of working towards becoming an advocate and honestly this is actually the best day of my life like this is the biggest thing I've ever like accomplished standing and taking that oath knowing that I can appear in the constitutional court. I've always known from the first day that I went to the constitutional court in first year of university that I would definitely end up with the rights of appearance in that court and I'd end up back there. And one thing about me if I set my mind to something, I'm going to do it and God approves my plans. So I'm so happy. And thank you to all my friends and family for the support. I love you so much and I really hope that you guys are proud.